Hi friends, today we're gonna be creating a inventory UI so whenever we pick up weapons we can see what we picked up and just so we have some feedback on that. And of course last time we added this cool uh, progress bar that tracks your health. Of course this can be reused on maybe stamina or mana, whatever you have. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna go to my canvas and then go to HUD and I'm gonna create a new image, UI image on the HUD which I'm gonna call the inventory. Just like that. And in the game view, you can see where it's placed. Now, depending on where you want it, you can either go to the left side of the screen, right side of the screen, wherever you want. I'm gonna place mine on the right side of the screen, so it kinda makes sense. So I'm gonna click the anchor presets, hold Alt and then click the bottom right. And it's gonna center it there. Now you can change the width and height. I set my width uh, to 500 and height to 250. Now make sure if you change it, you also change the position to half of the width or half of the height. So you can see my position on the X is now minus 250 and position on Y 125, just so it doesn't clip out of the uh, canvas. So you can see if it was, oh sorry. You can see if I didn't set it to half of that, maybe 200, you can see it's out of the canvas now. So just make sure that it's half of the width slash height. And inside of here, I'm going to need a, quite a few things. I will want to display some kind of an icon for the weapon that I have equipped. And I will also want an icon for some kind of ammo. Thankfully, in our scriptable objects for our weapons, we have our magazine size and magazine count. Magazine size is how many bullets we have currently available in the magazine before we have to reload and magazine count is The amount of magazines we have so it would be you know magazine size slash magazine count times magazine size If it doesn't make sense now, you'll see later how it makes sense so I'll go into inventory right click create a, a new UI image and this is going to be our weapon and in here we're going to need a few things. Of course, I'm going to want a image for the icon. So I'm going to call this one icon. And then I'm going to need two new texts. I'm going to have a text for uh, magazine ammo or magazine uh, size text. And then I'm going to duplicate that one and call this one magazine count text. Just so we have that organized nicely. Uh, first I'll go to my inventory and I want I don't want to have to look at this white square all the time So for now, I'll just set the alpha to about 40 just so we know where it is, but we don't have to look at it On the weapon. Uh, I want to place the icon where I want it and I will want probably the icon in the Top right so I'll press this anchor anchor alt and then go to the top right and I can change the width to about 150 and 150 and then make sure that these as well match so it kind of fits in there so this is where we're gonna have our uh, web the icon of our weapon if, if you can see that kind of and of course this icon I'm gonna go into the anchor hold alt and stretch it along the axis now you could uh, give it if I change the color you can see it fills the weapon image right now uh, but you could give it a bit of an outline with the top, uh, left, right, and bottom. And if I set that to 10, you'll be able to see it, kinda, that it has a small outline. As you can see. So there, that is something you can do. I'm not gonna do that for mine, but definitely if you wanna do it, uh, you should. And then I have magazine size and magazine count which both of those I want to move a bit down uh, below the icon. So I'll go into the scene, press F to kind of focus on the text and I'll just move it down to about where I want it. So magazine size text and then I'll want the other text like this. I'll change both of those. Uh, so just left click, shift, left click. Uh, I'll change the width to about 150 and height to about 150 as well. I'll set the alignment to middle and middle. I'll change the font size to something like 44 just so I you know can see how it looks down here and it looks pretty bad right now so I'll just move it into the scene where I think it looks good something like this and you can see if I change the text on my magazine size to maybe like 
25 and then here on that I can have like 250 you can see how it looks I'll also set the font style on both of them to bold I think it looks a bit better and I'll change the color to white and of course I'll set the horizontal overflow to overflow on both of them so if we have like a really high number for example here it doesn't hide itself and I will duplicate magazine size text right now and I'll create kind of the middle and for that text I will just have this slash that I will move in, be in between them just like that so right now we can display how much text we want and I can go to my inventory finally and set the alpha to zero and this is where we're gonna see uh, all our weapons if it, this is too close to the edge of the screen you can of course move the inventory a bit to the left something like this maybe like minus 290 so it's not at the edge completely okay I'll go to my scripts and I will go to UI and create a new C sharp script call it weapon UI open up weapon UI delete the default functions again we'll be using unity engine.ui since we want to reference our sprites and our texts and I'll need a couple references so I'll have a serialized field private image and this will be our icon and then I'll have a serialized field private text for our magazine size text and you can do this by just getting to the ed end of the line and pressing ctrl D to duplicate it and this will be magazine count text so now we have all our variables that we want to change at one point let's go ahead and create a public void for update info and inside of here I will need to get the icon that I want and the sizes of our magazine so I'll get a condition here called sprite weapon icon then I'll also want a int for our magazine size and I'll also want the int for magazine count okay and then I will set the icon dot sprite equal to the new weapon icon that we give it I will also set the magazine size text dot text equal to the magazine size to string because that's a integer and we have to convert it to text not a number now for the magazine count text I will create a new integer that I will call magazine count amount that kind of rhymes that's cool and I will set it equal to magazine size times magazine count and now we get the amount of ammo that we have so we have for example if we, if we have six magazines left we multiply that by the number of bullets in one magazine and we get the complete amount of the bullets that we have and then I will set magazine count text dot text equal to magazine count amount dot to string. Again, we have to convert it. It's a integer. And now we have a way of updating info here. Now, when do we actually want to update this? Well, each time we equip a weapon, a weapon for now. So right now we don't actually have a way of putting the weapon into our hand. We can just do it whenever we equip a weapon just to see if this works at all and then later on we can add on to this to complete it so you can see in our player pickup uh, whenever we raycast to an item and we find an item then we add the item and destroy that item so best way to do it would be to do it in this add item function in the inventory so in the inventory you can see whenever we add an item we just add it to the array and somewhere around here we would probably want to update our UI as well to kind of have them connected of sorts so right down here we could update weapon UI just like that let's make that possible so currently our inventory does not have a reference to our uh, weapon UI and the way we can do that you can see that in unity 
on our player where our inventory is we have also player HUD and in our player HUD I like to store all our HUD variables so for example we could store the weapon UI into here and then call the update info function from here since player HUD and inventory are on the same game object let me actually show you how to do this so let's go to our player HUD and in here I will create a new serialized field private weapon UI and I'll call this one weapon UI and in here I'll call a I'll make a new public void update weapon UI now here for the conditions we could do it like this but I feel like it's much better to just reference the scriptable object that we're adding so the item and then extract that from the scriptable object item so all I'm gonna ask for here is a weapon new weapon and then we can go to our weapon UI dot update info. So we're calling that function. And in here we have to give it uh, the sprite. So the sprite is new weapon dot icon. Then we need to give it the magazine size, which is new weapon dot magazine size. And we also need to give it the magazine count. Well, new weapon and then dot magazine count. And then everything else is going to get calculated in our update info function. In Unity, we'll go to our weapon UI that we created, attach our weapon UI script, attach the icon, attach the magazine size text, and attach the magazine count text. And now they can all get updated. And on our player, on our player HUD, we can just drag the weapon object as that. You could create a prefab from this. Uh, but I don't feel like it's necessary. We're only going to have one of these. Make sure you go to your icon and change the color back to white. It's going to look a lot better. And now all we have to do is call this update weapon UI from the player HUD whenever we pick up an item. So let's go to our inventory. Let's get a reference to our player HUD. So I'll create a new private player HUD. I'll call it HUD. And I can do that in start here. So what I'm going to do is just say HUD is equal to get component player HUD. So this is going to go onto our player object and find the player HUD that we want. And as always, I'm just going to create a new private void get references. And in here, I'm just going to copy paste this and call that. I think it's much cleaner. So our get references, I'm pretty much doing the same thing. It's just a lot cleaner. To look at it like this so we get references and initialize variables and whenever we need to update weapon UI I'll just go ahead and say uh, HUD dot update weapon UI and I need to give it the item that we're gonna pick up which we already have in our add item right here as new item so I'll just give it new item okay let's see how that looks so if you followed correctly everything should be set up I'm gonna click play and whenever I go and pick up a weapon, for example, our AK, you can see AK gets added. Our ammo is updated. If I pick up my sniper, you can see it also updates. My shotgun works. And my knife, of course, 0-0 zero, zero because it doesn't have ammo. And our pistol, 12 out of 48. One last thing. You can go to your weapon here, weapon UI, and you can change the weapon color to, to uh, alpha 0. So now whenever uh, you pick up an item, you're not going to have this white box outside of it. Maybe you do want that, but I don't. So whenever I pick up a weapon, you can only see the AK. Another thing you can do is uh, a lot of games do this. So if you don't want to show the actual gun icon, you can go ahead and create a white image of uh, of the uh, weapon. So in pay.net, for example, I would open up my um, my icon and then what I can do is go ahead to adjustments, hue and saturation and change this to white. And now I'd only have a AK outline. I could go file, save as and save this as AK icon uh, white. I would go to my icons and import the newly created one set the texture type to sprite and max size 2024 and then on my scriptable object i can change the ak icon to the new one whenever you pick up the ak you would get just a outline which i think looks pretty cool it's just a cool thing you can do just a suggestion if you want 
I'm not going to do that. And that's why I'm going to delete the newly created icon. In the future, we're going to expand onto this and we're actually going to create it so we can actually pick up our weapons finally. And we're not just having them as variables in our scripts. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and bye bye.